Hi everyone, welcome to Lorraine Corvanic Fitness. I'm Lorraine and today we're going to do glider workout number two. So you don't need a fancy piece of equipment for this. You don't need the gliders that you actually buy from the store. All you need is a rag, a cloth, a tea towel, or even a paper plate. And then you wanna make sure that the surface you're using can be glided on. So I've got my hardwood floor here. You could use linoleum, you could use uh, marble, whatever you've got in your, in your house, probably not carpet though. So we're gonna do five different exercises together and let's just do a really short warm up. If you wanna go make sure you've got some water, maybe turn up your mu music, that's great. And then we're gonna get started. All right, so let's go ahead and take our leg. We'll stand on one leg with a soft bend and just swing that one leg out to the side. We want to make sure our legs are nice and warm today, getting into the hips here as well. Swing it up nice and high if you can. Let's get that blood flowing around nice and juicy like. That's it. And let's go ahead and switch legs. Remember, if balance is an issue for you, you can always stand next to a wall or something that you can hold on to, maybe a chair or a bench, that's fine. You just wanna make sure you're getting that leg out. Take some nice deep breaths. Prepare yourself for a nice quick workout here. Yeah. Beautiful, let's take those arms now. Swing them open nice and wide. Same deal with the arms as we were doing with the legs. Just wanna get them nice and warm. Get those muscles ready to do all that beautiful work. <sighs> it's a fresh new day. And if you haven't done glider workout number one yet, you can always take that in after this one. Mm, let's do some shoulder rolls real quick now. Big arm circles. Oh, and if you happen to have a dumbbell at home or something that has a little bit of weight, maybe a water bottle or even some canned goods, go ahead and grab that. The first exercise we're going to start with is a reverse lunge with an overhead press. So I am gonna hold on to just a really light weight just to have something to hold on to. You don't have to have anything, you can just use a fist. But let's go ahead and get started. We're nice and warm now. If you don't feel warm enough, go for a little run around your house and then we're gonna take that dishcloth or tea towel and place it underneath one foot only. Make sure you apply pressure because you don't want it to slip out from underneath you and then your weight's going to be in the opposite hand. So from here, standing with feet hip distance apart, you're just going to slide that one leg back that has the glider underneath it until that other knee is pretty much just over top of the ankle. And if you can't go that low, that's fine. And then when you come up, you're going to press the opposite arm overhead with that weight. So just starting here with the weight near the shoulder, again, slide back, come forward and press it up. I bet you're ready already, wishing I'd just stopped talking. So let's get going, shall we? Ready? Let's do it. Slide it back and press it up. Back and press it up. We're getting a really nice stretch here in that inner thigh of the standing leg. Press it up, keeping the torso upright. And if you know me at all, or have been watching my videos, you know I like to pair the movements with my breath. If you wanna go ahead and try that as well. Just tends to keep things a little more stable and calm. So I inhale as I slide back, and I exhale as I press it up. We've got five left. Four, three, two, last one. Let's switch legs. I'm gonna face the other way, why not? So get that glider underneath the other foot, and when you're ready, let's go. Slide it back, press it up. Yeah, that should feel really nice. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, slide it back, press it up. <sighs> Remember, if you feel like you've chosen the wrong weight, it's a little bit too heavy, take the time Place it down. You don't have to have it. You can just press up that closed fist, the open hand. It's okay. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed here, not hunching them up around the ears. Are you ready? Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Grab a little sip of water and then we'll move on. And you don't need that weight. All right, you do need both of your rags this time, or tea towels or whatever you're using. 
And we're gonna do a double leg tuck or a double knee tuck. So it's pretty much a mountain climber. Go ahead and place the rags right underneath both feet. And we're gonna get down in plank position. So make sure those hands are right underneath the wrists. Wide spread those fingers for a nice good grip. Make sure you've got a teeny tiny bend in those elbows. Take the legs straight back. From here, tuck in both knees towards the chest and then press it out nice and long. So we end in the same position as we start. No bums up here, no slouchy bellies down here. Are you ready? Let's go. Tuck it in and out and in and out. So the whole time we're working here, your abdominals are nice and tight. You've pulled your belly button in, engaging those beautiful muscles in the belly region. Legs are nice and strong here, kicking them back, nice and forceful like, pressing through the heels. Yeah, this is a nice full body exercise. Great for the shoulders, the wrists, the chest. You can feel this all through the whole body. But again, we're making sure those shoulders don't hunch up around the ears. Here we go. Last five, and four, and three. Last two, and one. Set the knees down. Go ahead and take that little break. Maybe water, maybe just a little quick walk. Roll the shoulders, take care of your body. <clears throat> little break. All right, so we're gonna do the next one on the ground as well. A little L sit. So this time, they'll still be under your feet, but they're gonna be more like underneath your heels. You're gonna wanna press down through the heels to make sure you don't lose those claws. Hands are gonna be right beside the hips. Sitting up nice and tall, of course, not slouching down. You're gonna press into the hands to lift the tush off the ground. And you'll notice there's not a lot of room there. You might only press up a little bit. It's a function of how long your arms are. So we're gonna lift up. And then from there, we're gonna slide forward, incline plank, and then bring yourself back into L-sit. Slide it forward, pull it back. Alrighty, are you ready? You doing this with me? Don't just watch me. All right, plant those hands right beside the hips. Lift up away from the shoulders off the ground. And here we go. Forward and back. And forward and back. Now come on. We're grown-ups here. But you can't tell me this isn't fun. I can't keep the smile off my face. It's like being a kid all over again. You know, like when we used to go to the park, the playground, do the monkey bars, and the merry-go-round, the teeter-totter. I don't even think people call them teeter-totters anymore, do they? Are they seesaws? But come on, this is fun. And yeah, we're feeling it. Those arms, the triceps, biceps, shoulders. Remember, you can set your bottom down for a break at any time, but we've only got five left. Here we go. Four left. Last three. Two. One. Beautiful. Take a nice deep breath, feel your body, embrace that tingliness or whatever you're going through. Circle out the wrists if they give you a little bit of trouble. Grab that water. So if you're like me, you're starting to notice that your breath is picking up. All right, side lunge. So we only need one dish towel or cloth for this one. Place it under one leg. Take your standing position. Remember when we stand and we're balancing, which even if we're just sliding the leg out, we're balancing on that standing leg. Keep a soft bend in the knee. And then from there, we're gonna just slide that glider out. Now make sure when you do it, I'm gonna show you from the side, you know, do it this way. When you slide into your lunge, you don't want that knee past the toe. So not like this, like this. Set your booty behind you, all right? Like you're finding that imaginary chair, uh, chair I always say. Not a cherry. All right, are you ready? Let's do this, everybody. Hands can be at your heart center, at your chest level. They can be at your waist. They can be out front, overhead, wherever you like. Let's do this. Slide it out. Bring it back. Remember, shoot your booty behind you. Yeah. And you're pulling mm, that towel back in with you. You don't want to leave it out there. So you're really having to engage the muscles in that leg. That's what's so great about using the glider, yeah? Beautiful. 
And again, trying to pair it with that breath, inhaling as you slide out, exhaling as you bring it back. And if that doesn't work for you, drop it. That's okay. Just something I like to do. And now you should be really feeling it in the quad of the standing leg, the leg that's just staying still. Here we go. Are you ready? Last five, four, three, two, last one. Gotta go to the other leg. Gotta do both sides. Are you ready? Soft bend in the standing knee. Let's do this. Take it to the side and back. It's gonna feel funny for the first couple. Always does when we switch sides, doesn't it? All right, you got it. And that back is staying nice and flat. We're not rounding through the back. We're not hunching over. Just really nice, good form to protect the body, properly building those muscles in a really safe manner. All right, you got this. You're over halfway on this leg. Oh, feeling it. You may notice you've got one stronger leg. That's pretty normal. All right now, here we go. Last five, four, three, last two, and one. Beautiful. So I promised you five exercises. If you're counting, that means we've got one more. Bear pose. Mm. Good old bear pose. Bear pose means we're on all fours. Take your towels or claws underneath your feet. Come down to hands and knees. Again, reliving our childhood. <laughs> Widespread the hands. Notice the wrists are right underneath the shoulders. Knees are underneath the hips. And then from here, keeping just a tiny bend in those elbows as well, we lift the knees up about an inch off the ground. And then we're just gonna slide one leg back at a time. Little bear pose, slide backs. Now, as soon as you lift those knees off the ground, you're gonna feel that tummy engage, those abdominal muscles. Keep them tight that whole time, all right? Okay, let's go. Spread those hands wide, knees under hips, lift them up, and let's go. Alternating legs, one back, then the other, nice and strong. Every time, bring the knees back to just under the hips, hovering just above the ground, about an inch. Maybe it's two. We're not bringing out our rulers here. That doesn't matter. And watch those shoulders, right? We're always scanning our body, making sure it's staying in proper form. So again, this, no good. Pull the shoulders back. Keep them back there. Keep pulling the shoulder blades together. And those elbows, tiny bend, yeah? For protection. Not locking them out, not super straight. How are those legs? Are you feeling this? We're just about ready here to finish. Let's go, last three, both sides. Now two, both sides, and one. There you go, we're done. Grab water. Now we're not done done, we're gonna do another set. So take a little drink. Give yourself that pat on the back. And get ready for set number two. <laughs> I won't wipe my face with it, but all right. Let's get into that reverse lunge and press, shall we? All right. Taking that one foot underneath of the, of the, of the, <laughs> the glider. Okay, weight in the opposite hand. Are you ready? Pull the tummy in, shoulders soft and back. Let's go. Lunge it and press it. Slide it back, press it up. Inhale, exhale, nice and even and slow. Feeling every movement, yeah. Good job. Watch your body, think about how it's moving. Appreciate the grace, I'm sure you're super graceful. I am not always, I fall over, <laughs> that's okay. Beautiful, and I know you're a little bit more tired now than when we started. Here we go. Last five, four, I'm feeling it too. Three, last two, and now switching legs. 
All right, I'm gonna turn around. You don't have to, no need. Get that arm up, it's about level with the ear. Soft bend in our standing leg. And let's go, slide it back, press it up. As soon as I start pairing it with my breath, I notice everything just calms down. Now remember, tempo is always up to you. You don't have to be following me exactly. Maybe you want a little more cardio. Maybe you want your heart rate to pick up a little faster. So maybe you're moving your body faster. Yeah, and that's okay. Maybe I'm going too fast for you. Slow it down. That's okay. We're on the last five right now. And four, three, stay with me. Beautiful, one more. Excellent job, well done. Quick sip, wipe your sweat, high five your neighbor, your friend, whoever's doing it with you. And we'll get ready for the double knee tuck. Shoulders, you know they're in for it. Give them a little roll. Talk to that body all sweet like. And let's get ready. Deep breaths. Toe pads on those claws. Let's get down on the ground. Spread those hands. Take the leg back. Perfect plank, yeah? Here we go. Shooting those legs back. Aiming to keep the body a nice flat plank the entire time. So not letting the chest dip, not letting the stomach dip, not hiking the booty up to the sky. Ooh yeah, feel it in the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads, beautiful. So good. Softly bend those elbows if you locked them out and finish strong with me, okay? Are you almost ready for the countdown? Let's do it together. From five, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, take a break. Wrists, <sighs> deep breath, that's it. All right, we're getting into that L-sit pull. So down on the ground, take the whew, quads underneath the heels. All right, still tired. Hands beside the hips, lift the chest, shoulders away from the ears, lift the boot off the ground, and ready? Forward incline plane, draw it back. Slow and steady. Don't worry about the tempo too much here. Focus on the form. So if you start sliding too quickly, really slow it down. Press through the heels as you drag the clogs back. Lift the chest as you come forward, pressing it up through the shoulders, keeping the micro bend as much as is possible for you today. Yeah, how about those smiles? They always help. Are you ready for the countdown? I bet you're waiting for it. Let's do it now. Last five and four, three, two, and one. Well done. Oh boy. Two left, my friends. Side lunge, so get rid of one towel. Both legs. We got to do it. Give those shoulders and the arms and the wrists a little break. That's good. All right, doesn't matter which leg you start with. Are you ready? Soft bend that knee. Hands wherever you need, wherever it feels right for your body. And let's go. Slide it out. Send your bum behind you. Find that imaginary chair. It almost looks like I'm sitting on the stairs, right? I'm not. No sitting down. We're working that fine body this morning. Yeah, stretch it, you feel that? Those beautiful inner legs. Oh yeah, those adductors are working hard here. You got it. Really pressing up through the standing legs heel. Feel that quadricep work. 
That's so delicious. Yeah. So we're almost done, folks. Stay with me. We're doing the opposite side. Here we go. Last five. And four. Three. Two. And one. Switch sides. You can shake up that standing leg first. You've got a couple seconds here. We're in no rush. And then after this, it's just bare pose. So let's do this together. Slide it out, draw it back. Don't worry about how low you can or cannot go. It's not about that. It's about feeling it in your body. Yeah, hopefully you feel it the next day as well. Maybe you're using muscles you haven't used in a long time. Maybe not this way anyway. Yeah, so good. Breathe deeply. You got it, friends. I know you're sticking with it because we're so close to the end. Ready to count down? Here we go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. You got it. Shake it out. Whew. One left to go. Grab that other cloth. Put them underneath those feet, those beautiful hardworking feet. And get down on hands and knees. Bare pose, people. <sighs> Big breath. Spread those hands. Gripping down on the mat or on the floor. I guess you're not on a mat, you're on a floor. Take those knees back. Make sure they're in line with the hips. Press down through those toes. We're not gonna lose those claws. Are you ready? Press into the ground, lift those knees and press it back. Little move, right? Just bringing the knees back underneath the hips. Sliding the leg back until it's nice and straight. Press it. Notice that upper body doesn't move. We're not pressing our shoulders forward or our head forward. Just moving the hips and the legs and the feet. Lower body, lots of lower body today. And hopefully your triceps will feel this. If not today, then tomorrow, especially from doing those L-sit pulls. They're fantastic for triceps. Yeah. And ladies, if you're worried about those bat wings, you know what I'm talking about. Those are great for that too. All right, guys. Are you ready? Last three per side. Now two. Deep breaths. One more, one more. You got it. Sit down. You're done. Excellent, excellent job. I know you did great. How's our time? Look at that, we're done in 25 minutes, friends. So if you're done and you have to run, you go ahead, click it off, but don't forget to subscribe first. Give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. If you wanna stay for a quick stretch, let's do a really quick stretch together. So come on up, hang on to something if you need it. Right ankle in right hand, pressing the heel into the bum, pressing the hip forward, Feeling the stretch in the quadricep. You're gonna hold this for a minimum of 20 seconds. If you tend to have really sore muscles, particularly the quads, hold it longer or come back to this and do a second round after I'm done. I'll do a little bit shorter one here this morning so that we can get going with our day. Switch sides. Don't forget to keep those knees relatively close together. Yeah, you always wanna protect those beautiful knees, all our joints. Okay. Those quads are feeling nice and stretched out now. That's great. For hamstrings, we're gonna go ahead and do a two for one. Get into the, the chest a little bit, the triceps as well. So take the hands behind the back, interlace them. Gently roll the shoulders back, take feet hip distance apart, and then just hinge over at the waist. We're going upside down, head below heart. Keeping as straight of legs as you possibly can so that we can feel that stretch in the calves and the hamstrings. Arms can either stay on the lower back or they can press up towards the ceiling or even hang up like mine over top of the head. Again, just really opening up that chest muscle. Whew, if you'd rather just dangle the arms down, that's, that's fine as well. And then from here, just slowly roll that body up. You might wanna bend into the knees as you do this. 
Last stretch, we're gonna get into those triceps really well. Extend one arm up beside the head, your biceps beside your ear, bend into the elbow, take the opposite hand, pull it on back, keep the elbow in close to the head, feeling the stretch in the tricep. This is where you give yourself that congratu congratulatory pat on the back for finishing the workout. All done. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So opposite arm, straight up, bend into elbow. Pull it on back, nice and gentle-like. And then after this, don't forget, you're gonna drink a bunch of water, maybe you've got some electrolytes in there, some BCAAs, eat a nice high-protein snack, make sure you've got a little complex carb beside that as well. We wanna eat right, right? For sure, that's so, so important. More important even than the exercise we do. So my friends, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for working me good and hard. Hopefully you can see that sweat. Yeah, we worked it good and hard, didn't we, friends? Thank you so much again. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget, thumbs up. I appreciate it. Take care.